Our ten. That's one of thirty six. That goes back. Yo. Two, one, three. One three. So so far ever hitting the field. You're gonna be loving this. It hits. Hey buddy, I know you're liking this. You are definitely pressing your way to profits on this one. Six four ten. Also hey hey guys, here a couple guys are asking you what in the world. Why would I just shoot in line right here? No, I'll show you what. You get that one guy that likes to stack up chips right here. The one that's here is stuck in the corner. He likes to play his comeback right here. So the space becomes very small. Your, your room for error, your margin for error is very, very little here. This guy needs to learn to color up. He doesn't need to be married to his chips. If you don't put, and this is going to be bending. If you're going to put chips like this out there, listen, dude, you got a quarter here, put a green one there. Okay? You don't need to have the leaning tower of pizza up here screwing up the entire table. This is one of the best this is going to get messed up. Remember, you got money to lose as well. You probably have more money, you probably have less money to lose than a guy like me. Right? So, be cognizant. That's just a little bit of etiquette on the table. Be cognizant of what you're doing. Don't be, these chips are not coveted. The uh, casino will color you up, by the way, if you put those down here. So, hey, can you give me a green? Yeah, get a green. Put your green right here. Don't, you don't need to show off how many greens you have. Put a green one right there. Don't put the red in there. Put a green one right there. Anyway, all right, that's me, Betty. Off on a tangent. Look, ADD kicked in. Look there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, for those of you who are new to the channel, yeah, I sometimes I have a tendency to rant and rave and get off topic, but eventually, eventually I'll get right back in focus. All right, here we go. Where were we? Uh, rolling, uh, rolling field bets. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Rolling field bets. That's field numbers. All right, let's get there. All right, five one six. That's money. That's not taking. All right. All right. So anyway, Sandy, yeah, Vince, uh, Vince probably loves this one. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five presses right there, Vince. Uh, you know what you said? Five to six gets you a pumpkin. I'm telling you, it, it can be done. It can be done if you go with a plan. It can definitely be done if you go with a plan. So you got to do what you got to do. Figure out how to get there. Okay, guys, four one five. Not a good number. All right. There we go. Kids just got back in church. Love it. All right, here we go. Let's go with it. Back into my back into my field numbers. That's what we need. All right, here we go. Five one six. Not a field number. So guys, I would also like to say, you know, this is nothing more than just a colorful overlay, which I, I'm wearing out very quickly. But uh, the uh, the underneath of it, completely different. Really, really, it's amazing. What I've done with it. It's the difficulty level is just so hard. These, these dice, when they sit there, you, you never know when it decides it's going to blow right out of the blue. It could be laying flat like that, and then whoop, off it goes. It's just just like what you've seen at the casino. This is exactly what happens. I, I never understood it. Uh, my buddy Big Money Mike says, Yeah, they turned the magnets off. Boom, there it went. <laughs> so it happens. It happens. And that's what this table is giving me. Um, I can't remember which one of you, but I think there's two or three of you uh, that go to the Lutzi. Uh, I actually go to Louisiana as well. Uh, and I've seen the same thing on the tables, just so that y'all know. Uh, same, same, same thing. Uh, Shreveport as well. Harris has them. Just like it. 6 5 yo. <laughs> Alright. Man, 36 is a lot of rolls. Another Shiva. 516. Alright. Not a lot of time. I hope you guys are getting, getting some stuff here. I mean, it's, again, I never really understood the watching someone else throw um, their mechanics because it's something that you try to emulate, but you'll never be precise with it. Uh, you just never will. It's all, it's all in your own mechanics. You know, it's, well, yeah, I guess it is, right? You may want to practice and kind of study what I'm doing and say, okay, can I, can I be as successful with this animal or can I do better, right? Look at that die. I four nine. That's just fun. Like the first time that's happened. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, terrible. Six six twelve. Wow. That was a horrible throw, y'all. Terrible toss. Good field number, but bad, bad form, bad toss. On exercise. Again, you know, guys. You know. Some of you guys should throw dice. 
Chris. Bone Door. Uh, who else we got out there? 99, Crap Player, 99. Uh, George, Sleepy. I mean, all the guys that are on these channels, right? You all know that when the dice leave your hands, you know when you got a bad draw. You, you know almost instantaneously. And that's the thing, right? When you, when you hold as many dice as I do, whether they're this size or that size, you know when it leaves your fingers where you messed up. Because you feel your hands either turn, you feel your hands messed up, you overthought it. Uh, you did a bunch of things differently, but you, make the over, you start overthinking the process. And that's what I want to tell you guys. Don't overthink this process, man. It's simple. Slide the dice back. If you mess up, like I just did right there, start all over. Start all over. Get them squared. Back, pull. That's it. Five, five, part ten. Okay? When you mess up your grip, start all over. Don't, don't throw them like that. You already started bad. So when you start poorly, it's going to end poorly. Remember that. When you start poorly, these will end poorly. No two ways about it. Just not going to happen. You can't fix it once they're in the air. You can't reach up there and grab them. The only thing you can hope for is that they bounce out of the table. You, you hope that you had enough heat on it on a bad throw where they just pop right out of the table. Two, one, three. Oh, man. Okay. Jeez, we got a little stacks here to go through. Damn. Crazy. But it's good for practice, guys. So if you're practicing, if you don't know how to practice or what to do when you practice, this is one thing you can do. If you don't have a table, um, again, the hardest part is you can throw the mechanics to get into a landing zone, but don't worry about what your results are going to be because there's no way you're going to be able to see them. What you're looking for is to get your mechanics consistent and get in the same landing zone. Uh, 549. Where am I going to? Oh, this, this map. Try to play the same landing zone. So at least your muscle memory will get consistent, right? Now, again, I don't throw from this spot, so I don't have any muscle memory whatsoever. This is just pure technique. This power, power. This part of my hip from, from here down is exactly the same. From right here down stays exactly the same, whether I'm forward or backwards. The difference is just the motion, right? The mechanics of this piece are the same. It's a little different because this is now going in, in an outward movement, almost like a tricep extension. So you gotta be real careful there that you don't overthrow it and hit the uh, hit the padded rail and back hit the uh, pyramids. You wanna start hitting that first. You wanna make sure they land in a good spot, good landing zone. 415. But again, new members, I hope you guys are gaining, getting some kind of insight here as to what it takes to be a good shooter. It's consistency. It's consistency with how you address the dice. Uh, it's the same in any sport. However you address, like for example in golf, right? However you address the golf ball. If you become proficient at hitting that stupid little thing straight, you know, you're getting somewhere. I for one gave up on that sport. I, I could not, I just couldn't do it. And my belly grew bigger, I couldn't, I couldn't get the swing right. And then when it got smaller, I really screwed up. <laughs> so I gave up. I was done. I was done with that particular sport. Here at least it doesn't matter what size my belly is. I can just pony up and stick myself on there. Four. First four. Well, three one. Four. Okay, sorry guys, it's hard for you to see that one. Alrighty. The other thing too, uh, for those of you who are experienced dice shooters, or have some experience behind you, and those of you who are new, uh, newbies, right? Green feet, green. Um, be relaxed. Be relaxed on these dice. I want you guys to understand something. Stress starts in your mind and goes all the way through to your fingertips. It gets translated into the dice. Not superstition, not at all. Because a seven is gonna happen, no matter what. But if you're stressed out about throwing a seven because you've got more money on the table than what you should have there, I got an idea for you. Put the dice aside. Tell your dealer turn those off. Please re-grab the dice. Now you're taking the stress away. So oh, there you go, another mess up. So what you do is you now have all your bets are off. The only thing you have is your contract bet because you're just shooting on your pass line. Matter of fact, you can pick up your eyes. Pick those up. Pick up everything you pick up. Turn those off. That's all you gotta do. Start all over. You relieve the stress. You relieve the stress. That's a six, six, twelve. You're relieving the stress that you're putting on those dice and that you're putting on yourself because you're worried that the other twelve people on your table or ten or however many you got on there, they're gonna look at you crazy. And because you don't have enough experience on the dice. You're gonna get embarrassed and you're gonna have the mindset that you cost them money. That's not that's not how this works. How it works is like this. Those other people that are on this table are there to gamble. They know that there's gonna be ups and they know that there's gonna be downs. The thing about with you as a new shooter is this. You're gonna set maybe four rolls, max five, before you seven out. Any good gambler already knows that. They're gonna be off the table in three shots. One, two, three, it's called short game. We'll be off on a new shooter on a short game, right off the bat. Five, three, eight. Or you're gonna see another type of gambler, which is a guy that likes to bet on the uh, don't pass. This is the guy betting against you, for those of you who don't, are new and don't know the, the actual table itself. Uh, those guys are betting against you and they're going to be putting more bets against you every time you grab a dice. They're going to be putting them in what's called the don't come area or the don't pass, but the don't come bar. I don't know if this is wide enough to see this over here, but it's right here. Uh, it's, on, it's on the other side of the floor on the table here, and it's right here where I'm shooting at. The box that says bar 12, that means that 12 right there. It doesn't count. It doesn't count against you. You won't lose your money. It's a push. They'll, they'll push it, okay? So when you're new, don't let that stuff worry you. So take the stress out of your game, take the stress out of your throw, turn off your bets if you're leery about your stuff. If you just want to pick up dice and throw them, Practice at home. That's what I'll, that's my best advice I can give you. Uh, some of you go to the casino and, and everyone wants to gravitate to the craft tables because it's got the most noise, the most action. It's the only sport, or I'm sorry, the only game as well that you can actually interact with the medium. You cannot take the ball on a roulette wheel and put it in there and spin it. You can't take it and spin it. You can't touch that. The only thing you can do is lay your chips down on all your numbers. It's the only thing you can do. Playing cards. The only thing you can do is get the cards that they deal you. You can't go out there and reach for the cards. They gotta give them to you. Right? Okay. 
Yeah, that's actually your destiny. Four, two, six. Sorry, I guess this video's gonna last a little bit longer. Jeez, I need to hurry up. 25 minutes, holy crap. So, I'm filming this at 60 frames per second, so unfortunately, guys, this is gonna have to just speed up for me because if not, this thing's gonna stop the timeout and I'll have a short video and it won't go. Okay, we gotta knock out this real fast. Sorry. Uh, my, my gambling advice has got the best of me again. I start to ramble. Yes, me. Two, one, three. Sorry, guys. You know, trying to get this set up tonight for press as well, plus post it for my channel. I got another video. My kids are home and visiting with my wife, and my wife wants to she's dying to throw these dice again. <laughs> I don't know why. No, I know why, because she, she really likes it, too. She really enjoys it. Five, three, eight. So I think I've got, I know I hit my all's. The only thing I need to do is get that too. We get the all's. How about that? <laughs> and make them all. That'd be awesome. Hardest, hardest bet on the table to make, guys. Make them all. Roll on five. Again, if you make a mistake, try not to correct it. People are not going to laugh at you because you, you, you have to redo your dice, right? They don't care about all that. All they want you to do is to throw correctly. That's all we want you to do on the table. You touch these dice, throw correctly. That's all we want you to do. Card four, two, two. Now, this is one of those, <laughs> this is one of those rolls, guys, that I'll say it brings a lot of attention. Uh, if, you guys watch, if you guys watch all my videos, I'm one of those guys that I don't like to draw a lot of attention. At this point in the game, to be honest with you, all I want to do is roll a two. Once I hit the two, then I'll start throwing something totally different. Um, I'm not wanting to bring that much attention to what I'm doing. It's called hiding in plain sight, uh, and not not not, uh, not being your own cheerleader, okay? Humbleness and humility. That's what you want to try to exercise. Three, one, four. You'll learn it as you get older. As you start getting gray hairs, <laughs> you'll uh, you'll learn how to be humble. You'll also learn humility, and that's that's when everything starts happening for you. So if you can learn that at a young age, yeah, guys, ladies, gentlemen, you're going to be much much better. Uh, but again, I try to hide in plain sight. The other thing too is I'm, I don't try to appear like a control thrower. Um, you try not to because then they are going to get in your way. They're going to start watching you. They're going to see what you're doing. There's my two. All right, so we hit the all tall small. We hit the all talls. We hit the all smalls, and we made them all. At this point, we've made a ton of money, guys. At this point, we have made a ton of money. We have made thirty on the small, thirty for one on the tall, thirty for one, and 150 for one in the center. So at this point, we made all of our money. We made a ton of cash. Everybody at the table just went berserk, right? Now you can start all over. Here's where I'll intentionally throw a seven, just so that you guys know. I've got a casino table, a craps table. I will intentionally throw a seven because then I get to reset my all-tall smalls and I can do it all over again. All right? 46. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're. Uh, I don't have any points. I must hit there. But again, I'm relaxed. I'm not. You know, I'm not stressed out. Uh, all I'm trying to do is get to the damn stack in this video without losing my mind. Six five deal. I will say this, <laughs> 36 rolls in a video camera is probably one of the best cures <laughs> for ADD. <laughs> my wife will tell you, this is like a, this is killing me. I need my medicine. Dang. Five, four, nine. Also, for those of you, if we ever meet up on the craps table, don't play the don'ts on me. I'll hurt you, unfortunately. <laughs> you'll, you'll be putting money behind them. Don't come, don't come, don't come, don't come, and you'll, you'll eventually hurt yourself. And, and I had another guy too. <laughs> you find a guy that can shoot, don't lay, don't lay bets. Don't lay against the four, don't lay against the ten. You're going to find yourself losing money because the dad's a shooter. It's just a matter of time before he gets warmed up and, and knocks you out. Uh, it's your own fault, right? So again, those of you who are new to the table, uh, you'll understand some of, the, some of the stuff I just said. But uh, they're there to gamble, guys. Remember that. It doesn't matter how good of a shooter you are, how bad a shooter you are, they're there to gamble. Six, five, deal. They're not there for anything else other than to gamble. They want to make money. At the same token, and they're hoping they get a lucky shooter. Sometimes they do. Like my wife, she's a lucky shooter. She's lucky. She's really lucky. I'll bet on her. I'll bet heavy on her because sometimes she gets on a roll and man, she'll kill it. She will kill it. Wow. 314. Y'all see that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So, this table is definitely a. Uh, this table right here is definitely a high competition table. I gotta tell you, son of a gun. It's freaking nice. They do all kinds of crazy things. You just gotta, gotta roll with it, man. You just gotta roll with it. That's what I say. Just roll with it. 6 5 deal. So, all, the, all my existing subscribers, by the way, um, I believe I'm going to go get the, uh, and, and if, those, if some of you guys are like uh, tech savvy, jeez, I'm going to have to invite you out here to the place, to my little studio. But uh, I think I'm going to get this Logitech camera that I'm going to try to get mounted on these tripods. The only thing, guys, when I was talking to, uh, actually, George from CY, I was telling him, was uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, encumbered by having to figure out how to put the damn video together just to post it. I mean, I'll just tell you, I mean, for me, this damn telephone is just fine. I mean, who would have thought on a flip phone you get this kind of, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought on a cell phone, you know, you would get this type of a video in uh, audio, right? Audio's not so great because the acoustics in this place suck, but the uh, video itself is good. I might get one of those new cameras. Uh, anybody has anything about that, let me know. But anyway, I was saying, I'm probably going to get the uh, Logitech camera. I'm going to try to get two of them. Oh, I'm probably going to get two of them. But what scares me is if I plug them in, because if I plug them into the computer, I've got to put it somewhere and then try to figure out how to splice them and put them all together where it matches. 
Uh, easier said than done, guys. I am not a tech savvy guy. I, I grew up when uh, Texas Instruments, TI, came out with a computer. For those of you who know what the heck that is, uh, Atari was just coming out. Joystick with a red button. I think that's what happened with my wrist. <laughs> but that's, you know, 325. That's where, that's, that's kind of how old we are. Where I am. I know some of my viewers are getting better graphics. I don't know what the heck Atari is. <laughs> but, you know, I don't, I'm not real big on this uh, technology at all. Uh, both my kids have, you know, they're both in college. They're out, uh, out of the house. They don't really, uh, I don't want to spend time with them and doing the, having them work. You know what I mean? I want them to enjoy their life. I want them to do that. I want them to sit there and help dad, you know, get into the freaking technology age. I, uh, I want something simple. So I'm, I'm assuming those are easy to use because a lot of people are using them. Uh, again, those guys are younger. All the guys who have channels are younger, except for Bone Thrower. Bone Thrower's probably got a few years on me, but not many. Uh, I can tell by his music choice. He, he, uh, he and I listen to the same kind of music. But that's a hard eight. But I will say this I do enjoy some of the newer stuff here. I don't like that fruity stuff. Put it that way. Uh, Bubblegum crap. I don't like that. All right, what do we got? One more? I'm gonna keep going, I think, after I'm done with this. We're just gonna see what happens. Vince, I think you made several purple chips by now. I don't know, you'll have to comment on this one. Let me know. Actually, you know what I'd like to do, Vince? Take the roll and play it and see what you would have made. See how much money you would have made. That would be cool. You know your strategy better than anyone. Right? I, I, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. I like the concept. I'm never a big feel better, but you know, hey, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed trying it and, and using it over on that side over there. All right, guys, you're back to the mechanic. Back to the dice. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm hoping you're enjoying what you're seeing. Put out a little show for you today, put out a little school. Six, three, nine. My name right all right, give me one second. All right, press. There's 36 of them. Let me grab some more. Not many hard ways. I apologize for the length on this video, but it's a, uh, it's a doozy. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Five, four, nine. Now, I do have a couple people that watch my channel that don't believe in what uh, what uh, we do, which is fine. No problems. You're entitled to that opinion, but I'm cashing mine in the bank. What about you? 6-5, yo. There is a lot to this, and for those of you who are exploring this option, I will tell you this. Learn to be the best. Put every effort you have in it, if this is what you really decide you want to be good at. Sport-wise, this will be great. It'll be the World Series of Craps right here. <laughs> There's your set. That was a bad throw, by the way. Too high, came off my thumb. You need that one right off the bat. You probably saw it too, but anyway, there you go. That's uh, that's the roll. So Vince, I uh, hope you enjoyed it too, because I know you watch. Uh, Bone Thrower, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something to uh, to add to it, because you are a, uh, definitely a mentor. I will say that now that I've been watching your channel. Um, my age, I think maybe 